already home in your summertime anyway. Mm -hmm. So I had to come on back for the funeral and stuff. I came back for a funeral, wedding, a family reunion, all in one, that whole summer. <laughs> and I never went back to Las Vegas again. God did not clear the way for me to go back to that job or in Las Vegas any job because I was continuing to trust the Lord. I was single and I came back here and God had a job. I didn't fill out an application. He had a teaching job right here waiting for me right here. And I never returned back there until I got married to my husband, Mr. Vega. And we returned there after, a few years after we got married with the kid, with some of the kids that we had had. I think we had two, two three kids. We were, that was the first time I returned after I tried to get my plan B and then go back on that job. God said, I'll make it where you, not only you won't go back, you, I, I'll put you 3,000 miles away from that place. You can't get back. Because first of all, if, if you ain't got no job, how are you going to get a plane ticket anyway? How are you going to get a plane ticket to get back over there to that job and you ain't got no job? No. So I, I, I sat still. Be still and know that he is God. Yes. He'll give you yeah. the direction. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just sing him a song. Sing him a song. Lord, help me. Sing him a song. Lord, I need direction. Sing the Lord a song. And most of all, let your life, let your life sing to the Lord. David danced before the Lord. Let our life sing yeah. before the Lord. Yeah. Am I worried about any job at this point in life? No. I trust in the Lord. Amen. Yeah. If he said, I'm the Lord thy God, I shall supply all of thy needs Amen. according to thy riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. So if the Lord sing to you, yeah. And you're singing to him, take my hands, take my feet, touch my heart, Lord, speak through me. You singing it to him, he's listening. He's listening. Don't be afraid to sing the Lord a song. Amen. Don't be afraid. Because most people now will be like, oh, watch what I sing. Don't be afraid. To sing the Lord a song. I tell my kids all the time. The Lord is listening. The Lord is listening. Don't be afraid. To sing the Lord a song. Let your life. Sing unto the Lord. A song. Let the God. Who owns a cattle of a thousand hills. Let him supply your every need. Trust in the Lord. Let the Lord light so shine in your life that others will see and it will sing the Lord a song. Trust in the Lord. One more thing the Lord told me to also mention to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, one of my friends, y'all may have some testimonies like this, but this this is the first time, this is the first one I received personally. One of my friends way back in school days, I won't mention the name, real popular here in the Bay Area, had lost their mind right after high school. They lost their mind. And they when I found when I started hearing a person talk, I was saying, why do y'all say that person lost their mind? And all the person was really doing, it was just singing all the time the word. They were singing the word, scriptures, just singing all the time. Whenever somebody had seen this person walk in the street, because they had no lost their mind, and they had no had the look of losing your mind, they had the skin, the hair, everything, and always just walk in the streets. Do, 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 do. You just like, like something's wrong with them. And so I, I mentioned to somebody the other day, hey, I'm, I'm, I, I ran into so-and-so the other day. And the first thing people would say when you say the name of the person, oh yeah, I remember that person. Yeah, they lost their mind. Yeah, that's pretty sad what happened to so-and-so, isn't it? 
Well, this person, one of my childhood best friends, we're still best friends, you know, we don't never talk because we lost contact. But we're best friends from toddlers when we were little, little kids. And so, of course, through the years, I'm praying for my best friend. That I don't see all the time. I run into it once in a while, asking how so and so doing. Oh, yeah, they're still walking the streets. All of a sudden, this person, whenever you see them, that's all they had to say was some scriptures. But somewhere along the way, something happened and they lost their mind in the midst of getting rooted and grounded in the Word. They had the Word, they called him a walking Bible. That's what they called this young man, a walking Bible. The Word was like, he could tell you what quote the scripture, tell you where it's at. Whoa. I ran into my best friend the other day at the drive-thru at Checkers when I was leaving the hospital, visiting my dad, late at night. And the person saw me, and I saw them, and I was like, is that? And they saw me in the drive-thru, and I was like, is that? And they came on through the drive-thru and walked up through there, you know. <laughs> and I'm looking, and I'm like, person looking different. All of a sudden, the person started talking, and I'm like, so what you been up to? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm just working. Working? Who? You know how the enemy bring it up? Who hire you? You don't have to have a mind. The Lord said to me, he been singing my songs all that time. No matter what else happened, it's just somebody might have put something in the person's drink. That's what they said, what happened. Somebody put some kind of, I forgot the name, I don't know if it's acid or something, but something in the person's drink. And that's what happened to the other part of their mind. But he had this word, right before that happened, that drink thing happened, he had this word already in there. And so, I said, a job? Yeah! I know everybody in the world talking about me. He said, but look what the Lord has done. He said, I've been on my job 10 years. Oh my God. 10 years? He said, yeah. He said, and mostly everybody that talked about me, they ain't nowhere to be found. Yeah. They either gone or they not, they're not making it. Right. And he said he got a second job. Amen. He got two jobs. And I'm just listening to him. And I said, do you still know? You know, I'm trying to figure out. Do you still got the songs in him, right? I said, do you still? That walking Bible started quoting stuff, Timothy, 2 Timothy. He started saying where it was at, quoting just like it was 20 something years ago. So God restored yeah. his mind back to him yeah. even better. He said he's going to come visit us here at the church. And I'm, when he walked through the doors, I can't wait to see him. Amen. He said, because that day earlier, he was over on Columbus Drive. Looking for some anointing oil, which I don't understand that part. He was looking for some anointing oil for somebody else. He said twice in the course of the day, because my shop used to be on that first end of the Columbus Drive. He said he thought about me twice and said, I know where Rose said, I know where Rose. Twice that day. And then hadn't seen me in over probably a decade or longer. And that, later that night, here I am in a drive through that night. And he looked and he said, You know what? God sent you to help me get myself back yeah. to where I need to be with him. Because the word is still in there. Yeah. The word he hid in his heart, so it's in there. And, and I just was like, wow. So the Lord do. He did it in Bible days. Yeah. He restores back, you know, the dumb, the, you know, the lame, the, yeah. the blind. Yeah. You know, he heals the mind. Yeah. He's still doing that in 2011. That's right. Because this guy, if I told his name, everybody know, I got, everybody know him in this whole town. The whole family. Yeah. Everybody know he had done lost his mind. Uh -huh. But now, the Lord gave his mind back and it's yeah. better than ever before. Better than ever before. Yeah. So some trust in chariots, yeah. some trust in horses, yeah. 